So my career started 18 years ago as an airfield defence guard. Uh, since then, I've had the privilege of serving in places such as Timor Leste, Pakistan, and the Middle East. And in 2018, I commissioned and appointed as a personal capability officer, or PCO. Now I'm here at RAF Base Richmond, AMTU. Hey, Jess, how you going? How are you going? Air Mobility Training and Development Unit, or AMTU. Um, we have engineers, we have instructors, and we collaboratively work together to train our defence personnel in air load clearances, but also facilitate aerial delivery clearances as well uh, for, on behalf of Air Mobility Group. It was indeed a royal day at Point Cook with the visit of Her Majesty and His Royal Highness. The Queen's colour was marched on. The opportunity to be the Queen's colour bearer for this parade is a tremendous opportunity and a responsibility because the Queen's colour embodies our service traditions, achievements and history. Uh, but I think on the day I will be very proud. I'll be uh, reflecting on the sacrifices that many have made to, to join the Air Force, but also of the next 100 years, particularly as an Indigenous Australian as well. I met Uncle Harry Alley a few years ago now and um, he's an extremely humble man and I'm very honoured to be able to share this space with him and to continue sharing our story um, of Indigenous heritage. I joined the Air Force in the 5th of January 1966. My role was uh, in the equipment branch and uh, involved with logistics, uh, particularly uh, warehousing, explosive ordnance, uh, transport, that type of thing. And that gave me a lot of self-satisfaction to know that it was a career that I was progressing in and also being uh, an example to people that served under me as well. When I come into the Air Force, to hear the story of Lenny Waters to me was very inspiring. Len Waters was the first Aboriginal uh, pilot in uh, World War II. He was indeed a hero to us, where he came from and his background. And, uh, it wasn't an easy journey, and particularly to achieve what he did. It was indeed an honour to be invited to be the inaugural Indigenous Elder of the Air Force, to help and advise from my past service on the development and careers of Indigenous people that would uh, wish to join the, the Royal Australian Air Force. I believe uh, the Air Force has been at the forefront for embracing the enlistment of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I think it's important for Air Force to have an Indigenous elder because that elder carries the stories and the traditions of their experience, but also it speaks to our cultural intelligence as an organisation and allows us to continue to grow in that space and uh, encourage others to share and to carry on that legacy.